I just wanted to show you the bell tent and the hot tub um, this is Friday so this is the day before it's actually like all the balloons and everything um, but me and Luke are gonna I don't know if we're gonna sleep in there but we're at least gonna like watch a movie in there so I've kind of like adapted it for like date night because obviously Luke's birthday was the 30th tomorrow is gonna be like a joint birthday party for him and Bo so let me first show you the hot tub there isn't really much to see at the minute tomorrow will be much better when it's got all the lights and all that good stuff but yeah let me show you that so yeah like i said not much to see there's a hot tub 10 seater hot tub and it comes in this canopy if i go far far away i can show you that there it is so i need to do that back up here is the bell tent which i'll give you a little tour inside let's just go and zip this back up so it gets warm for tomorrow how hot is it it's 32 degrees come on <laughs> That's it. Right, so overview of the bowl tent so far. So I've turned the lights on even though it is not... Hang on, is it going to focus? There we go. So I've turned the lights on even though it isn't exactly the darkest yet, but it is pretty dark. I haven't done much with this table yet. Tomorrow I'm going to have that chocolate fountain out and the sushi machine. I need to move that. But yes, so this is the tent. Let me give you a little view inside of like a date night set up. So you can start to see it as we get towards it. They are little lights that we need to turn on, which say E and L. Take my shoes off. So we've got a cosy rug on the floor. The double bed is all laid out there. I've done this little area over here. Which, let me go over here so I can show you. Okay. So I brought in some plants because why not? The popcorn machine because we're going to want popcorn while we're watching a movie. And I brought this little hamper of drinks. I obviously can't drink because I'm pregnant. So it is non-alcoholic drinks. Let me turn this E and L on. So you can get the cosy vibes. So we'll be in here in a little bit, watching a little movie, having a little bit of popcorn. I 
I'm sure it'll be much darker later so these lights will show up even better. I just love that I put this rug on. Do you really know what else to put in here? Tomorrow night obviously we'll be putting the beds in here for the children as well. I just moved them into my living room to keep them clean and they were all provided as well. And then tomorrow night when the children are in here, there'll be obviously like a lot more beds and I'll have to move this table and set up. I thought this was really cute.
was a pleasure running away with you. We were just children acting like a doll. Crazy, naive, bold, and carefree. We were kids having kids. Crazy, naive. It amazes me that we didn't fall apart. Us on speaking terms, we grow and we learn. I have no regrets, only forgets. Oh, a big thank you to life for giving us end. Oh, when the timing's right, there's no wasteland. Oh, we Just children acting like a doll. Crazy, naive, bold, and carefree. We were kids and kids. Crazy, naive. It amazes me that we didn't fall. Come here, come here. Come to the 
Is this a pole that you put in yourself? No. Oh. It's a big tent. The pole is really wonky. The bed's not hit on it. No. Come on, here. I bet the tent's not really good. Come here. Look, I hid the towels and my um, dressing under there while I was taking pictures. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't. Yeah. I mean, you can. I just wouldn't. Okay. Hello, Rapunzel. He's not Rapunzel. You've got longer hair than you. Than that. Hey, you're Rapunzel. You've even got the same colour. Luke's Rapunzel with a beard. I'm face, I'm face Rapunzel. Yeah. Everybody needs a reminder like to pay. But I've already paid like I paid a, like a hundred and sixty pounds. If you go on your account it says minimum payment due by anything. Yeah, but I paid 160 quid. Oh, <coughs> but that was ages ago, then they forgot the email. Bye! So good morning everybody. This is the day of the uh party and a couple of things are going wrong already let me tell you so this is supposed to be out in the garden today but the weather is really not on our side i'll show you it's raining so i'm not sure if this is going to go out or not but the show must go on let me show you what i've set up so far. it is absolute downpour here it doesn't even look aesthetically pleasing in the slightest it's chucking it down I don't know if you could tell. But let me show you the little setup that I've got kind of hiding under that canopy. God. We slept in the tent last night. Um, but I'm going to set it all up for Bo today. Yesterday was kind of like Luke's half of the party. This is Bo's. Um, so we've got a slushy machine. These are all our little things to dip in the chocolate fountain. Um, the cake, half and half, 33 and 9. Um, and the pick and mix. I've got all the plugs on the table at the minute because it's wet. And I don't want to even risk getting them wet. So this will look cute, like I said, the show must go on. Uh, the boys are going to be sleeping in the tent with us again. You saw the tent yesterday. This is going to get all set up for the kiddies later. But let me tell you the biggest disaster of them all. Make sure the kids aren't listening because they'll be absolutely gutted. Oh my God. Came to check on the hot... Oh God, listen to that rain. came to check on the hot tub this morning and somebody turned the heating off i know who it was luke <coughs> luke was putting the bubbles on and off last night and it's down to 28 degrees oh and it should be at 40 basically so not good not good 36 would be okay like 36 up would be what you're looking for but 28 no so between the weather the hot tub just is out of action. The kids will freeze. I mean, look at this floor. I mean, don't know if you can sit. Here you go. Soaking wet from rain. That won't, we won't let that stop us. We're gonna have our treats in the tent. Um, Look at that rain. We're gonna have our treats in the tent. Chocolate fountains, movies, snuggle time. Yeah. So when all of this is up and set up, I will show you all obviously in action and when the party is actually starting. I say party, it is just 
me, Luke and the kids. Um, and I really just don't know what to do. I put the balloons out and they look up, they've just, they've all blown behind the tent. Um, obviously if it was dry, they'd all have kind of just set around here. They've all blown, they've all popped. Pop, pop, I shouldn't even be out in the rain with the camera. They're all shrunk, they're all stuck behind the tent. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I really just don't know what to do about the balloon arch now because it seems such a waste. But if it goes out in the rain, what we're going to do with it? It's just going to get rained on, I was going to look at it. I was going to have like all the chocolate fountain and everything on it, but obviously it's not outside, so I've just put all um, just cards on it. Just birthday cards. Oh well. It looks good anyway. Either way. Happy birthday, Bo. Happy birthday, Luke. Hi, Bo Bo. Happy birthday. Is that your favourite balloon? No. No? What's your favourite one? What about the loot llama? Whoa! That one. It doesn't really feel like the weather Oh, it's because of the stupid weather, isn't it? It's my Don't worry, it's under the cover. Don't worry, it's already rotten. I'm getting some food in a bunch of what? Why is my car? So we're just on a little detour for the day. Um, Luke's son Archie wasn't able to come to the party um, because of the coronavirus. So we've just gone and dropped him off a little goodie bag of stuff that we would have had if, if he'd have slept over like stuff for the chocolate fountain, popcorn and that. And Luke wants to go and pick up a heater for the tent for while watching movies and stuff. Isn't that right? Because of the nice weather. Yeah, because I've already shown them earlier. Um, yeah, let me show you out the windscreen. It's not even doing it justice. It looks much better. It looks so much clearer on the screen than it is in real life. But yeah, is it going to stop our fun though? We're going to get in the tent. The boys are going to get in the hot tub. And yeah, we'll be uh, nice and dry in the tent and they'll be wet regardless in the hot tub. So yay. fountain and the slushy machine um, and I'm not even gonna lie this weather is really ruining everything I've had to have all the power outlets on the table um, you know obviously because the floor is wet um, so it just looks a mess um, the floor is just soggy my feet are wet I've had to put my hair up so and Keen are having a wicked time though they're in the hot tub at the minute um, I haven't bought the balloon arch out because it's just took it down the brain. Um, <sighs> darn you English weather. Um, yeah, even, even just this temperature would be absolutely fine. We just need the rain to go away because like going to and from the hot tub, going from the tent to the hot tub, from the tent to the house, just going like if you need the toilet, nipping out to get snacks, your feet are soaking. It's just completely ruining it. Um, like I said, the food table's got two power outlets on it. Mm. But later tonight, when we're snuggled in the tent, I'm sure it'll be fine. The slushy maker's on at the minute. So that the boys are very excited for that. But yeah, so I'd update you and be honest. But no, it's not going to plan. But at least it's happening. 
you can't win them all, can you, hey? I still think the tent was such a wicked idea. Um, I think I just went a bit overboard trying to do the outside stuff, like with the balloon arch and the food. A tent, I'm cozy and warm and dry. Look how big it is, it's massive space. I've even got the baby's cot in here. Um, so I definitely recommend getting a tent. This is an all weather perfect idea. The hot tub, still a good idea. The kids are absolutely loving it, so I can't even regret that at all. I just, the only thing I wish I hadn't done was attempt to do a garden party style food, and the balloon arch is an absolute waste. It's just not even <laughs> a part of the day outside, so that's. I still think it's such a good idea. I do it every single birthday and I'll probably still do it again for both next year. Just pray for the best. Um, the balloon pump um, and the balloon arch, which I got, I'll link down below. Um, yeah, I'll link the chocolate fountain and the popcorn machine. I'll link everything down below anyway. I'll link the people who supplied the tent, the people who supplied the hot tub. And all in all, I don't regret any of it. I just hate this weather. If this weather was not rainy like this, it would be perfect. Um, I've just got very cold feet after setting everything up. Going to and from the house with the melted chocolate and the sushi ingredients I bet my hair's ruined. Oh well. Oh well. But yes, like I said, the boys are having a fantastic time in the hot tub, so that was a good purchase. I just haven't personally been able to use it, obviously. Um, being pregnant but i was gonna like go in it without the bubbles and when it wasn't quite hot because you saw the temperature was very very low it heated up to 32 and given that it should be 40 it's not amazing but because it's a 10 seat the kids are just using it like a swimming pool so they're having a wicked time and that's all under the shower as well you saw that so that's no problem at all um, the boys don't even mind, so I really shouldn't be complaining because they're having a really good time. And if I was just in this tent, it would be fine, but I can't bring the chocolate fountain and the sushi machine in the tent because I don't want to risk ruining it. So they're going to have to stay outside. But yeah, I'll let you know how it all goes.
How do the actual ones in the shop stay? Maybe. Oh! Really Maybe the um... She's pouring milk everywhere. No, she's not. Would it be plugged in? It's like um... Keeps it cold, you'll be able to add your eyes and mandolin. 
<laughs> Might be like a freezer of success 
for a disaster i honestly don't know the weather truly did um put a dampener on things because it just made it so difficult to just be able to like pop out and get a bit of food pop inside and go to the toilet pop over to the hot tub and do you know what i mean it was the weather outside kind of just really dampened it um last night in the tent we got so cold um we actually all went back inside so there's been no heat this morning so i've come back out to like get everything back out and tidy up uh, we went trudging through the house with the cot and everything last night uh, me and Azzy woke up sneezing and sniffling i'm sure snowy will as well i've just not noticed at the minute um so yeah i'm really not too sure um i mean we had a really really nice time obviously you'll see all the footage it's just um the weather couldn't have been any worse for us i can't find my glasses i'm so tired I don't think I'm even that tired, I just feel so full of sickness. Um, <coughs> so yeah, I mean, I, I, would, I, I don't regret it because um, we had such a lovely time in the tent once we were actually in it, watching movies and that. The first night was really good, it was really warm. don't know what happened last night, I don't know if the heater just wasn't um, heating enough or I don't know. Um, and the hot tub never got above 32 degrees, so that was annoying. And um, the boys obviously still loved it. They're still in it now. We've got the hot tub till tomorrow, so they've got another day of that. Um, but it never got above 32 degrees. So I feel like a 10 seat hot tub, maybe you need to hire for longer because it just didn't heat up. I mean, obviously we had the mistake where we turned it off, but it was 32 degrees yesterday and it's still 32 degrees today. So it's not heated up anymore. Um, but it should be going to like 40 degrees. So that's a bit of a, that's a bit annoying. Um, but yeah, but the tent was amazing, it was wicked. It's just the only thing was, you know, having to nip in and out the house because you have to go to the toilet. Um, the food was all outside um, and all of that. Um, so the weather did really um, dampen this weekend. But I think the kids still had a wicked time. I think it's just me being a boring old grown up. The girlies loved being in the tent yesterday. Um, and, um, I don't even know what else to say. Um, obviously, like you saw, the balloons couldn't really come outside. The balloon arch we didn't get the full effect of being able to be like in the hot tub, in the tent, going to get some snacks, get some chocolate fountain, going back in the hot tub. Um, overall, I think the kids had a really nice time. I knew what I did in the tent when it was warm in the evenings. It was just in the very middle, middle, middle of the night. We just got too cold. We were just like, no, let's take the girlies inside. The boys went in. Um, me and Luke went in and we all just slept inside last night. Um, you could probably see I don't look too hot to track right now. Um, and you can probably hear it in my voice and my snivels. But yeah, I just wanted to fill you in. Um, hello. Tell me how and I'll do it, babe. Because I just want to make you feel what do about you. Just tell me how and I'll do it, babe. Go, 
I'm gonna leave you guys to it. I need to go and check on that water thing. Mm -hmm. I love the water, do you see? They all do. Look at those. Do you love the water bag? Tell me how and I'll do it, babe. Cause I just wanna make you feel we do it about you. Do you love it, babe? Yeah. Just tell me how and I'll do it, babe. I love it when you whisper in my ear. Words only meant for me to hear. Promise that you sleep for safe with me. You're the only reason. Yes, you're the only reason. Yeah. I'm really going now. Bye bye. Now I know that this is meant to be. Sorry, my camera died earlier. I found my glasses. Um, me and Luke are just unpacking the tent but we're actually a bit sad because the weather is actually dry today is this would have been the perfect weather for over the weekend um like wouldn't it this would have, this this is the weather we needed it was it's sunny Luke is probably safe because of the sun shining through it's sunny and the tent is warm because it's like a heat trap because it's a tent so it's warmer in here than it is outside. It isn't even cold outside, it's just mild. In the tent's nice and cozy, nice and warm. I really wish we were keeping it tonight. We could keep it tonight. They even offered, they said, do you want to keep it the extra night? And I just said, it's just not worth the money because Luke's at work tomorrow, unfortunately. Um, otherwise, we definitely would. This would have been perfect. If this was yesterday, the balloons would have been outside, the arch, the food would have not had to have been under that canopy with everyone crouching, there was no rain, they could have had the hot tub doors open. Um, but it is what it is. Um, obviously, you'll see all the footage. Um, like I said, the hot tub was a bit of a letdown. It, well, yes and no. One way it was good, because obviously the temperature never got um any higher than 32 which meant the girls could go in it and i could go in it being pregnant and obviously without the bubbles so it was just like a swimming pool like quite cool it was like we had to get out because we got cold and um, which meant the girls could go in it because there was no obviously risk of anyone overheating so that was a pro um obviously a con is we never got to use it as the actual hot tub because it got nowhere near 40 degrees um pros of the tent it is so cozy it's lovely i'll definitely be hiring a tent again especially from these people this tent is so cute um just the weather and then last night with it just hammering it down with rain being so cold we did like i said end up taking the cot the babies everything we just went and slept inside in the middle of the night um and yeah so had it been just on today or a different day it would have been absolutely perfect the only thing that just really didn't go to plan was the weather meaning that we couldn't have the balloons outside and we couldn't just go like we would have used the hot tub so much more because we would have just been like going in the hot tub jumping out getting food going in the tent nipping to the toilet nipping back um but the kids have had a really good time the kids have loved the hot tub so that's a good purchase hot tub it basically is just a glorified swimming pool at this point there's nothing hot about the hot tub was the look mm, not really. it never heated back up it, it, it didn't heat up to start with on the first day and then obviously the heater was off all night by accident um i've already told them <laughs> so then it heated back up to 32 and then it hasn't got any hotter so yeah and that's going tomorrow um oh my god look look at the sun look at the sun look at the sun and i've already packed everything away chocolate fine's gone away social machine's gone away so i can't even like bring the balloons out and do it today because i've already started packing away but it is what it is it is what it is if this was yesterday it would have been absolutely perfect um i like i said before i'll link everything down below the people we used to hire the tent um the hot tub um where i got the popcorn machine slushy machine and chocolate fountain from the balloon arch and the balloon pump and if there's anything else that you're interested in just comment down below and i'll let you know where i got it from um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If nothing else, it'll just be some nice memories for us to look back on and laugh about because the weather is never goes to plan. 
never goes to plan. So yeah, if nothing else, hopefully it is entertaining for you to see my weekend weather fail. Um, but at least I put in the effort. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like me, go and follow me over on Instagram. It'll be linked down below as always. Subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.